You are such a loser. I can't believe you. Leon, what's wrong with you? What's wrong with me? It's more what's wrong with you. You gave that money to a homeless guy. Are you kidding? Yeah, and what about it? Well, you should have given that money to me instead of that homeless idiot. So you'd rather give your money to a homeless man than your own friend? Jeez, look at this guy. See? And now you're embarrassing me in front of all these people. You're the one who's acting like a spoiled brat. I'm just helping someone who's in need. Yeah, well, I need you to be my friend. I want to get out of here. All these people are looking at me. Hey, you know what I just realized? We always just hang out at my house. Yeah, and? I mean, it makes sense. My house is like huge, but I haven't been to your place in so long. I forgot how small it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm glad you got that big fancy house. Are we gonna go play video games or not? What, with this ancient system? Did archeologists find this? I doubt this even turns on. All right, man. Why have you been picking on me lately? You've been such a jerk. I don't know what you're talking about. I haven't been a jerk. Yes, you have. Lately, all you've been acting like is just a spoiled brat. Have I? I really haven't noticed. Chris, I'm sorry, man, all right? What do you want to do? I mean, I thought we were just going to hang out and play video games today. Yeah, but the more I thought about it, we should just go to the mall instead. Well, I'll be honest, dude. I don't really have money to go to the mall. Well, whatever. I'm starting to feel claustrophobic in this super small room in this super small house. Can we just go to the mall, please? Ugh. All right, whatever, dude. Let's go. Awesome. Maybe Maybe we can get you a game system that dinosaurs didn't play. Ah, it's so much better. I can finally breathe now. I hate to say it, Chris, but your house does smell kind of funky. Well, that's not true. You know what? I'm not even gonna get into it. All right, well, I need to hit up every store in here. I need like five new outfits and new hats. And while you do that, I'm gonna go check out the arcade. Actually, this sounds like a good way to start. Can I join you? Yeah, if you wanna come join, absolutely, dude. Awesome. Hey, all you poor, pathetic losers, get out of the arcade. Uh, Leon, what are you doing? Well, Chris, I'm buying this place and no one else is allowed in it dude what's going on here do you own this arcade yeah i do and you're causing a scene well not anymore here whoa what is all of this it's the money for your arcade i'm buying it this is mine now so you work for me get back to work Leon, what are you doing dude you can't just act this way. Chris, you don't understand because mm, you don't have a lot of it, but with money, you can do whatever you want, okay? Tell these kids to get out of here. Uh, yeah, sure thing. All right, everyone out, everyone out. <laughs> See, that's how this works. Isn't this awesome? No, dude, it's not awesome. You just kicked out everyone else that was having an awesome time here. Yeah, but now we have the arcade to ourselves and this stupid idiot to do whatever we want. Hey, employee. Uh, yes, sir. What are you doing just standing around here? I want free game tokens and I want them now. Look, Leon, I'm glad you're having a ball here, but I think I want to get out of here. Fine, not a problem. I'll be back later and I better get some game tokens. I want to stop in here for a second. Come on. <sighs> All right, fine. Hey, dudes. Welcome to the shop. Is there anything I can help you with? Yeah. First off, when you speak to me, don't make eye contact with me. And while you're asking if I need anything, there is something I need. An energy drink, because I'm going to need it to go through all this trash you have in the store. Hey, look, man. I'm really sorry about my friend. He doesn't mean any of that stuff. Look, little dude, your friend is unbearable, and I'm going to end up kicking him out if he keeps acting this way. Okay, don't kick him out. I'll just buy something. Will that make you happy? Sure thing, dude, but you keep apologizing for his actions. You're just as bad as he is. I don't even know why you bother being nice to people like that. You don't understand why I'm nice to people? Dude, are you okay? Listen, it's his job to make sure that I'm happy, the customer. And if he doesn't like his job, then maybe he should quit. That's awful, dude. People aren't just your servants. These are people. <sighs> Hang on. I gotta take this. Hello? Yo, dude, it's Pierce. What's up? Oh, hey, man. I'm not too much. I'm just hanging with Leon at the mall. Uh, dope. You guys want to meet me down at the cafe? I might need some help with the homework. I'm having, like, a hard time with it. Oh, dude, of course. I got you back. Chris, I just don't understand, man. What is a radius and how do I find it? All right, well, look at your homework. The first thing is that you're doing what's called Ugh, diameter. Where is that That's waiter? This service is so slow. Uh, I don't know, dude. Maybe he's just busy helping someone else. Wait, Chris, what were you saying? Half the circle. That's what I was saying. And then Ugh, this service is stupid. This conversation is stupid. I'm getting sick of this. Yo, dude, chill out, okay? If I don't pass this class, my mom and dad are going to be so mad at me. Ugh, but I'm bored. I want to do something fun. Why don't we go test drive Lamborghinis or something? Look, dude, no one's stopping you from going to test drive some Lamborghinis. We gotta stay here. <sighs> Whatever. I'm so sick of my friends being pathetic nerds. I'm gonna go have fun. You'll know where to find me. Dude, that test was so hard. I think I failed for sure. Ah, uh, come on now. I'm sure you did better than you think. I wonder how Leon did. Bro, he wasn't even in class. You didn't notice? What? No. <laughs> 
What's up, nerds? <laughs> Are you two done playing school now? Whoa, dude, what's with the car? I told you I was test driving Lamborghinis, but they are so boring, so I got this. So let me get this straight. You decided to go buy a sports car instead of come to class and do our tests? Actually, I was <clears throat> super sick, and I couldn't go to school today. What I want right now is burgers, and I want my two best friends to join me. So are you in or not? Nah, dude, I had like three burgers at lunch today. I'm all set. Fine, Pierce, you're a loser and you're out. Chris? Yeah, I guess I got nothing going on. Sure. Awesome. Obviously, I'll drive. Wait, you know what I just realized? Chris, this is the first time you're ever going to be in a car that's not older than you. See, dude, I told you, it just hugs the road. All right, dude, I gotta say, this car is pretty sweet. Yeah, yeah, that's great. Your turn's over. Just stop. All right, I'm driving it again, since it is my car. All right, no problem. Hey, can I talk to you about something, though? Yeah, what? Look, it's about the way you've been acting lately. Ugh, not this again. No, just hear me out, man. You're one of my best friends. You're not acting like the guy that I came to know. Lately, every time we go out, you're acting like you own the place and that these people are just there to serve you and cater to your every little whim. I don't understand. Stand. Is this about the arcade again? I gave the guy money. I bought the place, okay? Right, and that's great that you gave them money, but it's not about that. It's about the way you treat people. Just giving someone money doesn't mean that you own them. It's my money, and I can spend it however I want to. So you really don't see how you treat people? No, I don't. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm bored of this conversation, though. We need to go. I'm gonna be late. Late? What are you gonna be late for? Just shut up and get in the car. Let's go. All right, I don't think anybody's here yet. Perfect. Perfect. All right, we're here. You still haven't explained what's going on. Well, while you were busy at school all day learning, I got the Game Station 6, and I invited everyone over to play. Did you say the 6? How'd you even get your hands on that? Uh, my dad, duh. I told him I wanted the most exclusive gaming system ever, and that's what he got me. So are you going to come inside or what? I need to make sure we order sushi before everyone gets here. Whoa, dude, this game is sick. Dude, these graphics are insane. I feel like I could just touch the game through the screen. What? What are you guys talking about? This thing is laggy. These graphics... Graphics? It looks like it was made three years ago. Oh, no, dude. It's not that bad. Shut up, Pierce. Dad! Dad! Hey, boys. How's it going? Dad, it's not going good, okay? This stupid TV is lagging out. Well, what? You want a brand new TV, too? Yeah, I would like a brand new TV, Dad. That's what I'm trying to say. All right, listen. I'll order one online. It'll be here tomorrow. Tomorrow? No, that's not gonna work. Bro, it's not that serious. The game's running perfectly fine. You're used to playing old systems on poor TVs, Chris, okay? You don't know what you're talking about. I get what I want, and I want a new TV, and I want it now. Uh, dude, you're acting like a baby. And you're acting like an idiot. You know what? I think I'm just gonna leave. No, you're not gonna leave, Pierce. You're gonna sit down, and you're gonna shut up, okay? While my dad goes to the store right now and buys us a brand new TV. Pierce, wait. Come on, man. We're having fun. Let's not let him sour our mood, okay? All I'm trying to say is I was having fun until Leon decided to lose it. And now I'm not having fun anymore, and I want to go home. Listen, Pierce, I'm sorry, okay? I didn't mean to act like that. That is what people say, right? Yeah, Leon. People apologize when they're being jerks. Listen, while my dad goes and buys this new TV, why don't we just go hang out by the pool instead, okay? Yeah, I guess that's fine. Um, Pierce, what do you think you're doing? Uh... Just hanging out, playing with this torpedo. Well, that's my torpedo. Yeah, and this is your pool, too. You know, I'm not that dumb. Well, it's mine, and I want it, so... Yeah. Oh, hey! Dude, that was not cool. What? I just pushed you in a pool. Relax, Pierce. No, you're acting like a brat. Guys, just stop arguing, all right? He's the one that pushed me in the pool. You know what? No, I've had enough of this. Leon, you need to grow up. You've just been acting like such a jerk. You've been so selfish and irritating. I can't stand being around you anymore. Um, excuse me? What are you saying? Yeah, Chris, you tell him. I'm gonna get a towel since my clothes are soaking wet. Look, I'm sorry, okay? I thought it was funny. But look how upset you made him. Yeah, whatever. No, dude, it's not whatever. And if you keep acting this way, you're not gonna have any friends left. You're gonna be all on your own. Ugh. I'm gonna go check on Pierce and make sure he's all right. And honestly, I think I'm gonna head home too. I hope you remember what we talked about today. Ugh, oh, great. Now Pierce isn't responding to my text. Dude, grow up and get over it. Stop being lame. Where is Chris? He's not responding to me either. Am I really just a jerk like they said? Or are they just jealous of me? You know what? That's it. They are jealous of me. They just want what I have. And that's why they treat me that way. <laughs> well, I'll show them tomorrow at school. I'll give them something to be jealous about.
Oh, look at the two of you eating pizza. Isn't this fun? Yeah, obviously. This is the best meal of the week. Better than those mystery meat sandwiches we get. Ugh. Yeah, I don't really know what it's like to eat poor people food. Is this actually good? What? What are you talking about? You've never had pizza? Yeah, of course I've had pizza. Flown in from Italy. Not this trash. Poor peasants eat this food. You know what, dude? I'm so sick of this. Sick of eating poor people food? You should be, Pierce. No, I'm sick of you judging people and being mean and stupid. You know what? Pierce, I just think you're jealous of me. That's all it is. I'm jealous of you? Are you serious right now? Chris, if you want to be friends with this guy, that's fine. But we're not friends anymore, Leon. I'm done. Well, good. I don't want to be friends with the fake rich people anyways. Bye, poor loser. Bye. Oh, brother. You know what? He's going to regret saying that to me. I'm going to make sure of it. Ugh, Leon is such a jerk. Where do you think you're going? I'm just walking to class, Wes. Not anymore. Oh, hey, what did you do that for? Because I told him to. You think you can just get away with being super jealous of my awesome, incredible life? What? Dude, I'm not jealous of you at all. Yeah, you are. Admit it. Your life sucks, and you wish you were me. I want you to actually say it. No, I'm not saying that. Well, if you don't, I'll just make sure Wes makes your life miserable. How does that sound? This is a joke. Dude, whatever. I'm going to class. Hey, let me go. Oh, hey. No dice, small fry. You're not going anywhere. You heard him. Just take it easy, okay? We don't need to be so rough on him. Hey, I'm just giving you what you paid for. You gave me 100 bucks, you get the premium service full beat down and everything. Dude, you seriously paid him to just beat me up? You're ridiculous, man. Hey, 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 all right. Listen, let's just all calm down, okay? We don't need anybody to get in trouble. I just wanted to hear you say that you were jealous of me so you could admit it. Well, I'm not jealous of you. You better leave me alone. I said I don't want to be friends with you anymore. Got it? You don't want to be friends with me anymore? Fine. But don't tell anybody about this. Here, take some money. I know you need it. Ugh, he is unbelievable. Hey, Dad, was Leon always such a bad friend? What What do you mean? Well, I mean, you watched us hang out when we were younger. He's just been acting terrible lately. Oh, you mean like a complete spoiled brat? Yeah, exactly. Never really crossed my mind, but he acted out lately, and some dude said that I was just as guilty for making excuses for him. Chris, you're my son, and I love you. But I have to admit, your best friend is nothing but a spoiled brat. Even when you were little kids, he always had to be in charge. He always had to have the best toys, the biggest parties. I really don't know why you enjoy hanging out with him so much. Huh, I guess I never really thought about it. I guess it's just because whenever he's not acting like a spoiled brat, he's actually a really fun guy to be with. Honestly, I never really liked Leon coming over the house or you hanging out with him. I was worried all that spoiledness was going to rub off on you. Dang, I mean, I get it. I'm just surprised you didn't say anything sooner. I'm just glad you didn't turn out to be like him, you know? But if you're asking me if I like your friend, the answer is no, I don't. Attention students, could I please have Leon to the principal's office? Leon, report to the principal's office. That is all. What? You didn't go to the principal's office? Oh, what did you do? Ah, Leon, please, we need to talk. What am I even doing here? I was having lunch. Yeah, this is more important. We're here to talk about you being expelled. What, me? No, I can't be expelled. But you are, and your parents are already aware. They're on their way to pick you up shortly. You've gotta be kidding me, you called my parents? What kind of dumb principal are you? You're gonna expel me? Fine, I don't wanna go to this dumb school anymore anyways. Yeah, 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 that's great to hear. Now, please, get out of my office. I hope you enjoy your minimum wage job, you loser. Pierce, you ratted out on me, didn't you? Dude, you hired someone to beat me up. That's really low. Of course I told the principal. Leon, you did what? No, I didn't. I don't know what he's talking about. I am telling the truth, dude. He did. He hired Wes to beat me up. Whatever. You deserved it anyways. But now, thanks to you, I'm expelled. I'm out of here. I don't need this stupid school filled with these stupid losers anyways. Yeah, I can't believe you actually paid for somebody to beat up Pierce. Yeah, I did. And he knows exactly why I did it. If you want to know, just go ask him. He's a stupid snake. Leon! Ugh. Well, there's my son, the hooligan. Dad, I don't want to talk about it, okay? Oh, well, we're gonna talk about it, mister. Using my hard-earned money to pay someone to beat up another student? Are you insane? And now you're expelled. You know that means you're not gonna graduate, right? It doesn't matter if I graduate anyways, Dad. I can just get a job at your company. Oh, no, you're not. What? I'm not gonna hire you if you don't finish school. Are you kidding? But I'm your son. Yeah, and your work ethic is terrible. Your grades are miserable. And how can I trust you to run a multi-million 
million dollar company if this is what you're doing. Huh? You don't get it. You're just as stupid as everyone else. What did you just say to me? I said you're stupid. And you're not listening to me. You never listen to my side. Leon, you're my son and I love you. But the way you're acting is incredibly stupid. Seriously thinking I'd give you a job at the company acting like this. You never give me what I want. You treat me just like everyone else. Leon, where are you going? Attention students, will Pierce and Chris please report to the principal's office? That's Pierce and Chris. Thank you. Wait a second, dude. That sounded just like Leon. I mean, I guess it did, but how is it even possible? We just saw him leave. Well, I guess we better go figure this out, right? Yeah, but let's be careful. Well, 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 if it isn't idiot one and idiot two. Dude, I told you it was him. Leon, how is this possible? What are you even doing here? Well, I came in and decided to buy the school, so it's mine now. You did what? Yeah, that stupid principal basically begged me to give him the money. <laughs> something about him not paying his mortgage or something, I don't know. So you just decided to buy the whole school? Yeah, I was sick and tired of being in school, so I decided to run it myself. Now, first things first, Pierce, you're expelled. What? For being a two-faced backstabber and getting on my bad side. You can't just do that, dude. Well, you were the one that got me expelled, so I think it's only fair. Leon, you're the only one to blame for getting expelled, not Pierce. Once again, I have to just drill it into your head, Chris. I can do whatever I want. Pierce, get out of here. I can't believe this. This is going to ruin my life. <laughs> wow, seeing him cry like that was really pathetic. Nice, Leon. You've really done it this time, haven't you? Yeah, it's pretty cool, isn't it? No, dude, it's not awesome. You failed your way out of school. How do you think you're going to handle running a whole school? What? You're just going to throw your money at it? Yeah, that's exactly what I'll do. I've done it before and I'll do it again. And in fact, I'm sick of you constantly clinging to my coattails. If you don't get out of my office right now, I'll expel you too. How does that sound? You cannot expel me. I haven't done a single thing wrong. And that's where you are wrong. You're being an awful friend. I'm being an awful friend? I'm the one being threatened by a so-called friend. And now I'm the only friend you got. So if you expel me, you'll be right on your own. After Leon bought the school and he put himself in charge, everything changed. Teachers resisted, but Leon threatened to ruin their lives and to take away their paychecks. It seemed as though Leon was out to make everyone's lives miserable, and that's what he was doing. And remember, work smarter, not harder. Because working hard is stupid, and if you want a new phone, don't do chores and save for it. Throw a tantrum and make sure your parents buy it for you. This has been your daily advice from your incredible principal. Uh, all right, that's it. I can't stand it anymore. Guys, you tell me, do you want to keep learning to be this spoiled, ignorant brat like Leon? Is he really someone we have to look up to? Well, Leon is really cool. Yeah, and he's really rich. I want to be rich. Hey, boss. We might have a bit of a problem on our hands. Kind of problem? I'm extremely busy, okay? I'm running a school. Yeah. Well, it looks like there's someone who has some disagreements with your teaching style. Really? Well, Wes, here's the thing. I pay you to deal with this stuff. So deal with it. Right away, boss. I haven't seen you in weeks, man. How are you holding up? Yeah, well, my parents put me in private school now. It's actually really cool, but I have had a lot of schoolwork. You should get your parents to bring you to this school, too. Honestly, that doesn't sound like such a bad idea, but I still gotta at least try to get through to Leon. What's the point, dude? You're not gonna get through to him. Yeah, but he's my friend. I'm at least gonna try. Oh. Wes, now's not the time. Get out of my way, man. I'm not going nowhere. You know, I got a little message from Leon for you. And what's that? A knuckle sandwich, courtesy of yours truly. Stop! 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 <laughs> What a loser. Hey, boss, it's me. I did just what you asked me to do. Great. Yeah, but you see, I think this time I'm gonna need double. Double? You've gotta be kidding me. Yeah, well, that loser's face left some bruises on my knuckles. I gotta pay for that somehow. Certainly some rich kid like you can afford it, right? <sighs> Fine, I'll send you double. Ugh, what have I done? Did I make the right choice? Oh, my head hurts. Man, what even happened? I'll go downstairs. Yo, dude, you're finally awake. Pierce, what are you doing here? Well, I found you knocked out on the sidewalk, so I called your dad. We've been extremely worried about you, Chris. What happened to you? It's just Leon. He's up to his same old tricks. Leon did this to you? Well, not directly. Look, guys, I I'm fine. You know what? If anything, I need to go stop him. Dude, I don't think there's any stopping Leon. He's on an insane power trip. Seriously, Chris, I don't want you anywhere near that kid. Yeah, you guys are right. Maybe I won't be able to stop him. I haven't been able to up to this point, but I know the one person who can. Look, sir, I'm really gonna need your help. 
I didn't know who else to turn to. You're really the only person I could think that could help me stop Leon. Well, I'm actually pretty proud of my son and his proactive nature. Buying the school and everything. <laughs> now that is a bold boss move. But I have to admit, he's probably not the best person to be a principal. You gotta understand, he's expelling kids left and right. And what he's teaching in school, it's just gonna ruin these kids' lives. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, Chris. I know you and my son have been friends for a long, long time. Hey, would some money make you feel better? Makes Leon feel better. No, sir. I I appreciate it, but I'm all right. Now I see where Leon gets it from. Look, don't worry, okay? I'll talk to my son. I'll set him straight. Everything will be fine. Don't you worry. Now enjoy the rest of your day, Chris. Make sure to tell your dad I said hello. Well, I just hope you can get through to him. Best of luck, sir. So this is the place, huh? Thought my son would have at least bought in a newer school. Uh, Dad, what are you doing here? And what is he doing here, too? Well, your friend told me he's worried about you, so I figured I'd come down and talk to you. What do you think you're doing? Well, Dad, you told me that I couldn't work for your company because I was failing school. I figured I might as well just buy it. Once again, it's just you throwing your money at your problems and hoping it will fix it, which it hasn't. Shut up, Chris. You don't know anything. Hey, don't talk to your friend like that. Listen, I have half a mind to take this school away from you. Dad, you can't do that. Oh, yes, I can. I've heard you're doing an awful job as the principal here. Very disappointed. Dad, no, you can't. This is my school. I bought it with my money and I want it. Hey, hey, Leon, calm down, all right? Listen, came here with a business proposal for you. Business proposal? Yes. You can have your job at the company again, okay? As long as you stop being a nuisance and a crazy, awful principal. And maybe sell the school back to whoever owned it before. Really? I can have that job back? Oh, that's awesome. Uh, no, this is not awesome. What did he even learn? Pierce is still expelled. Half the school is still learning to be spoiled. Royal brats because of him. So what? Leon just gets a big old pat on the back for saying I'm sorry? Well, he learned that his father is an incredibly savvy businessman and he can close any deal. Yeah, plus you're just jealous. Look, man, I feel like you've learned absolutely nothing from this situation. I'm over all of this and if you're just not going to grow up, we're not friends anymore. I don't want to see you again. Come on, Dad. Why don't we go into town? I'm in the mood for some lobster and a fancy dinner. Well, all right, son. Come on, let's go. Listen, Leon, I've got to tell you the truth, okay? I'm starting to feel guilty. Guilty that you had to be in the presence of that poor loser? I know. I'm so sorry, Dad. No, absolutely not. And quit talking like that. I lied to you about the job. I'm not giving it to you. What? Are you serious? Yeah, I just told you that so you'd give up your job as the principal. Chris has been right the whole time. You have been out of control and you need to learn some responsibility. Now, I'm going to sign you up for a job so you can learn the hard value of a dollar. A job? Are you kidding me? No, I'm not kidding you. And now you're going to be a janitor at your school. What? A janitor at my school? No. No way. That's so beneath me. That's so off-brand. Son, you don't even have a brand. All right, enough. So you're going to make me a janitor. You're going to make me a poor loser like everyone else. I'm going to teach you how to value the money that you get and maybe teach you some respect. Ugh, I hate you. You're so stupid. Leon, calm down. Down. Where are you going? Oh, dude, I can't believe it. We won that dungeon raid. Now I've got some legendary loot. <laughs> That's really sweet, dude. Yeah, and I talked to my dad. He's going to re-enroll me at school. It's going to be awesome. Things are going to get back to normal. Yeah, I guess so. What is wrong with you, man? I figured you'd be excited. It, it's just Leon, dude. You know, we were friends since kindergarten. Like, how do you just let go of a friendship like that? It's pretty easy, dude. He's the one that threw it away first, remember? No, and you're right, but it doesn't change the fact that I miss him. Got someone at the door? I'm gonna go see who that is. Hello? Oh, hey, Mr. Barkley. What are you doing here? Chris, we have a bit of an issue. Is everything all right? What do you mean? No, everything's not all right. Leon hasn't come home in days. We've had an argument and I just haven't seen him since. Have you seen him anywhere? No, I haven't seen him at all. I'm really sorry. What's going on? I don't know. He won't answer any of my phone calls, my texts. I've gone to all three of our vacation homes. He's nowhere to be found. I've got to go find him. Uh, if you see him, make sure you tell him I'm looking for him, okay? Yeah, uh, of course. It'll be the first thing. Thank you, Chris. I appreciate it. Please let me know. Leon! Leon, are you around here? Please come home! Yo, that was Leon's dad. He's missing? <laughs> Good riddance. What? You don't mean that. Yeah, I do. Leon gets exactly what he deserves. Oh, no, I still feel bad. Especially after seeing his dad like that. 
we both know that Leon can't take care of himself. I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna go look for him. Why don't you get out of my face, dude? Okay, this is my arcade. You're my employee. You're supposed to do whatever I say. Now leave me alone. Hey man, listen, you bought the arcade and you're in charge, okay? That's really cool, but you can't just live here. Why not? It's my arcade. I can do whatever I want. Yeah, but you've been sleeping in the middle of the floor and eating nothing but candy from the prize counter and screaming at the customers. Yeah, because they won't get out of my way. Uh, yeah, so the customers are not happy. I pay your salary. So you need to be listening to me. Uh, yeah, actually, you haven't paid anybody in days. And everybody's quit besides me. So what are you going to do? Are you going to quit too? Uh, yeah, exactly. Good luck. No, wait, please. Please come back. I need someone to help me. Please. <laughs> Stupid spoiled brat. No one's going to help you. Oh, no. This is so dumb. So now am I supposed to run this arcade by myself? I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, you won't be running anything. You haven't been paying your lease, sir. Ugh, and who do you think you are? I am actually the manager of this mall, and you are behind on your payments. This arcade is closed, and I'm gonna have to ask you to leave the premises. What? No! Oh, but yes! And you better get a move on before security gets here. Ugh, you can't do this! You have any idea who I am? Oh, I'm well aware of who you are, and it's about time someone taught you a lesson. Now get lost, kid! No! Oh, this is so dumb. What am I gonna do now? Hey, welcome to the cafe. What can I get you? Hey, yeah, listen, can I get something to eat, please? Even if it's just like a slice of bread or maybe some frosting from a donut? Hey, wait, I remember you. You're the guy who told me my service stinks and then left here without paying for his food. Well, I wouldn't have done that if your service didn't stink, obviously. And then what are you even doing here again? Like, get lost. Please, I just need some help, okay? Like, just use a little bit of food. Yeah, and I could use a new job, buddy, but you don't see that happening. Now get out of the cafe. You're not welcome here anymore. Fine. I'm sure someone else will help me. Oh, the place is so stupid. Oh, uh, hey, Wes. Oh, just the guy I was looking for. I've been meaning to talk to you. Talk to me? About what? I think you know exactly what this is about. I'm talking about your past dues. You remember your little buddy Chris that I beat up? Where's my money? Oh, I, uh, I thought I paid you already. No, you didn't. Well, uh, come on, man. You know I'm good for it. I'm just a little light on funds at the moment, but I'll get you your money, I promise. Sorry, kid, but business is business, and I'm not waiting anymore. Why don't we go for a little ride? Uh, no, I, I'm fine. I can walk, thanks. Um, I'm just gonna walk away from you. Uh, uh, uh. Now, come on. Oh, no. Man, where is this kid? Hey, wait, is that him? Come on, I said let go of me. Shut up and get in back of the car. Wes does not look happy. Sure, Leon's a spoiled brat. I don't want to see him get hurt. Ow, oh, hey. Why did you bring me to this stupid warehouse? What am I doing here? Oh, I just brought you here so you could give me the money you owe me. I told you I don't have any money right now, Wes. Did you get that through your thick head? Oh, but I happen to know that your family's rich. And I'm going to get my money. Dollar by dollar. Come on, you... You're really gonna beat up your friends? You paid me to beat up your friends. So what are friends for? No, Wes, please don't. Huh? Help! Help! Someone help me, please! <laughs> oh, and who's gonna help you? The friend you paid me to beat up? Or maybe the friend you got expelled? Let's face it, Leon. You got nobody. He has me, Wes. <laughs> Chris, you you came back for me. You you saved me. I'm so sorry. I was just so used to getting whatever I wanted. I didn't appreciate the friends I had the whole time. Can you please forgive me? I've been such a spoiled jerk. Yeah, I can forgive you. You know, this is an incredible day. <laughs> I couldn't agree more, Dad. All right, guys, let's go. Uh, let's go? Where are we going, Edgar? You're not going here. That's for sure. Get lost. Wait, what? This is my house. Not anymore, Dad. I just sold this man our mansion. Yeah, for the million bucks. What? <laughs> you sold our mansion? Edgar, what is wrong with you? Oh, guys, just chill, okay? It's for a bigger and better mansion. All right, this is the place. Edgar, this is a shack in the middle of nowhere. What did you do? Well, that guy said if I gave him a million dollars, he'd take our mansion and we would get a better one. Dude, you'd call this better? You just got scammed. Ugh, guess like that. So essentially what you're telling me, Edgar, is you gave our $10 million mansion to a random man? I guess. Unbelievable! It's just a house, Dad. If all you're going to do is blow our family's fortune, you need to get lost, Edgar. What? Whoa, Dad, what are you talking about? Edgar is getting kicked out of this family. You no longer belong here with me and Teddy. Get lost, Edgar. Fine. <laughs>
Dad, are you sure this is absolutely necessary? Of course it's absolutely necessary, Teddy. I think it's high time your brother learned the hard way about spending his money. Okay, if you say so. Hey, you! Bank idiot! I need your help! Oh, hello, Mr. Clarkson. Good to see you again, as always. Yeah, 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 whatever. Listen, I have an emergency. I want you to take all the money out of Edgar Clarkson's account immediately. All that money? Yes, and I want it in cash. That's like, uh, over a million dollars. Now hand it over! Oh, okay. Here you go, sir. Well, well, this should be enough for us to buy a brand new mansion. Dad, I don't know. This doesn't seem right. I really don't know how Edgar's going to react when he finds out he doesn't have any money in his account. Teddy, do you think I care right now? We don't have a home. Yeah, one second, Dad. Hello? Yo, Teddy, are you with Dad? Edgar? Yeah, I'm with Dad. What's going on? Look, I really need your help. Oh, man, this sucks. They don't even have room service here. You're free to go, kid. What? Really? Okay, why? I don't know. Someone paid you bail. Teddy? Oh, thank goodness, man. I'm so happy you're here. Edgar, what is your deal, man? What are you talking about? Why did you try to steal? Well, what else is I supposed to do, man? Dad won't give me any more money. And when I tried to use my credit card, the guy said a word I've never heard before. Declined? What does that even mean? Dad closed off your account. That's what it meant. He's not going to give you any more money until you learn how to be responsible with it. No, that's so stupid. It's my money. I can do whatever I want with no, it. No, actually, it's Dad's money. So what? He's our dad. He gives you money from time to time. I'm responsible with it. I don't go spending it on some scheme that loses our entire mansion. If you can prove to dad that you can use your money wisely, he'll let you back into the family. Everything will be fine. I just want to spend my money. It doesn't matter. It's so stupid. I don't see what the big deal is. And that's your problem, Edgar. Oh, man. I can't believe how Edgar's been this week. He can be so insufferable sometimes. Now he wants me to meet him here? I'm like, what's going on? Yeah, here he is right now. Hey, Teddy, what's up, dude? Edgar, what's going on? And, oh, uh, who is this? Uh, this is my new friend, famous race car driver, Ryder Hall. I'm Ryder Hall. Okay, Edgar, I have never heard of Ryder Hall. I'm Ryder Hall. What is this about? Well, my friend here, Ryder Hall, wanted an expensive car for his race next week. The prize is a billion dollars. And Ryder said, said he'd give me some. Really? That sounds pretty far-fetched. I haven't even heard of a race or a prize anytime soon. It's very exclusive. You'd never understand. I'm Ryder Hall. And I told him you had, like, one of the fastest cars around. No, Edgar, so... no. That is absolutely out of the question. I'm not giving my car to some random stranger. Ryder Hall. I don't care who you are, man. I'm not giving you my car. Eddie, being so annoying and uncool. I'm trying to do what I can to help the family, okay? Well, if you really want to help out the family... Okay, sure. Yeah, he can use my car. Awesome! Pretty sweet, huh? It's one of a kind, super fast, super expensive. So what do you think of the car, dude? I think it's perfect for me to steal. Uh, what? Later, suckers! I'm Ryder Hall. Oh, Edgar, my car, man! Edgar, I cannot believe you did this, man. Do you have any idea how expensive that car was? With all the modifications I recently got for it, $100 million top. Whatever, dude. You don't need to be that upset about it. It's just a car. Just a car? Teddy, I need to get to work, don't I? Whatever. You can ask Dad to buy you a new one. That's what I did. Well, Edgar, unlike you, I don't ask Dad to give me whatever well, I want. Well, you should. It's pretty cool. The only way to live your life. You are unbelievable. Teddy, I got a call. You're late for work. This is our family business. What is wrong with you? Well, I'm sorry, Dad. Edgar got my car stolen. Dude, really? You didn't have to tell oh, him. Oh, yes, he did. Unbelievable. You know, Edgar, this is exactly why we kicked you out of the family in the first place. You need to do better, or else you'll never live with us again. What? Fine. I don't want to live with you guys anyway, because you suck. Ugh, your brother <laughs> is so spoiled. Come on, Teddy. Let's go to work. Yeah, hold on, Dad. I'll be there in a bit. Fine, whatever. I've got a business meeting to go to anyways. Dad and Teddy are total jerks. Why don't they understand me? I mean, I just love spending my money. Hey, kid, couldn't overhear that you were uh, rich or something? Well, I don't have pocket change for you, okay? Just get lost. Oh, I'm not asking for pocket change. Give me all your money, kid. Yeah, right. Get your own, loser. Loser? <laughs> Guess we'll have to do this the hard way. Oh, no. no. Oh, thanks for the money, idiot. So, did you find him? Nope, couldn't find him. He's gone. 
dude, he took all my money. What am I going to do now? Oh, no, man. I'm really sorry about this. I called you so you would help me. Now you're not. This sucks. Great. Now what am I supposed to do? Where am I supposed to sleep? How am I supposed to have my eggs benedict in the morning? Listen, Edgar, it's all good. I have some money, and you can use that to stay in a hotel for the night. Really? You do that? Because otherwise, I'll be sleeping on the street. Yes, man, of course. You're my brother. Thanks. I appreciate it. Don't tell Dad, okay? Where on earth is Teddy? He told me he'd meet me here at 9.15, and it's 9.17. Uh, hey, Dad. Edgar, what the heck happened to you? You look terrible. Well, I got robbed, Dad. You got robbed? Yeah, I had some money on me, and then a guy took it, and he beat me up. Edgar, I I'm so sorry. Dad, this sucks, okay? I want me back in the family. Stop crying in front of my office. You're embarrassing me. Look, you can come with me. I'll get you some new clothes, and everything will be fine. That'll make you feel better, won't it? You take me to the Supreme store? Yes, I'll take you to the Supreme store. Now, Edgar, I'm giving you one chance to do this right. You got it, Dad. I could do this, no problem. You know I built this company from the ground up without any money, right? Whoa, without money? That must have sucked. Well, of course it sucked. Hey, Dad. Edgar? What what are you doing here? I work here now. What? Dad, what is he talking about? I hired Edgar as one of the managers for the corporation. Oh, no, Dad. That's not a good oh, idea. Oh, really? You want to tell the CEO of your company that you work for what to do? Look, Dad, I'm just trying to look out for us, okay? And I really don't think giving that much responsibility to Edgar is a good... Wow, it sounds like you're super jealous. Edgar, you don't know the first thing about being a manager. Dad, don't you see? You're just enabling him. He's going to abuse the company's money. I just know Teddy, it. Teddy, I'm still the owner of this company and it is my decision to hire edgar and that's final yeah you heard him that's finale oh my gosh i can't believe this man well teddy you can either deal with it or quit the family business well, it's fine whatever welcome to the team edgar i can't believe that dad would give edgar a manager position like that's insane Wait a minute, who's Edgar talking to? Yeah, here you go. Thanks for supporting my business. Anytime. <laughs> Edgar, what was that about? I was just making an awesome investment for Dad's corporation. What kind of investment did you give him? Well, I gave him like a half billion dollars to help you gave half a billion dollars to some random guy again? Oh gosh, Edgar, what's the business even called? It's called the National Broke Society. Duh. Edgar, you're an idiot. You got scammed again. No, I did it. It was legit. I Think. You think you gave half a billion dollars to some guy who calls himself the member of a national broke society and you think I thought it was a good idea Dude, now dad's company has lost half a billion dollars. What are we gonna Dude, do? Everything's gonna be fine. We're rich. We can make that money easily dad like makes it in a day We're not day. gonna be rich for long and it's all thanks to Whatever, you. Whatever Teddy. You're so lame Theodore Clarkson, I have a very important conversation to have with you right now. Oh, no. What's wrong, Dad? As of right now, you are being demoted to janitor. Demoted to janitor? Why? I didn't do anything wrong. You don't think spending half the company's funds without my permission is doing something oh, wrong? Oh, no. I knew this was going to happen. Dad, it wasn't my fault. Ah, uh, don't even begin with me. Do you have any idea how long it takes to get that kind of money back from this business? Dad, you're blaming the wrong person. It wasn't my fault. Then explain to me why. Edgar came to me crying the other night telling me about how you did it. I've been working with you for a long time. Do you really think I would do something that irresponsible? I didn't think you were capable of it, but now now I don't know for sure. Dad, you're a smart guy. Think this through. He sold our house. He sold my car. He's gonna sell the company. Oh my gosh. You're right. This was your brother all along, wasn't it? I told you, he didn't learn his lesson overnight. You've gotta do something about this, Dad. Oh, I will. All right, so we've checked Gucci, Louis Vuitton, and Supreme. Are you sure he's here? Oh, of course, there he is right there. Edgar Clarkson. Oh, hey, Dad. Hey, Teddy. Did you guys want to sit and eat? I just ordered some more food. Oh, really? And how do you plan on paying for that food? Uh, with money that you give me? Edgar, I am done with all of this. You are fired from the family business. Wait, no, why? Why are I fired? Teddy was the one that gave that money away, not me. Edgar, I know it was you. Dad, you can't do this. What am I supposed to do with my life? You need to figure it out. That's what you need to do. 
do. I am your father, and what I say goes. This isn't fair. Teddy, this is all your Edgar, fault. Literally, everything you have done up to this point has been your fault. For once, quit being so stubborn and learn from your own mistakes. Learning is stupid. I'm done with both of you. You guys suck. And you're a greedy, spoiled brat. No, whatever. <laughs> Well, this sucks. I'm homeless again. Well, I guess for now I have to stay at this homeless shelter. Hey, you homeless idiot. Get out of the way. Hey, watch who you're talking to. Why should I? Because this spot is mine now. This is my spot. Why should I give it up to you? Do you have any idea who I am? I'm Edgar Clarkson. I'm one of the richest people in town, and I do whatever I want. Now get out you're of the so way. You're so rich, then why the heck are you at a homeless shelter? I don't have to tell you anything, all right? Exactly. You don't have to tell me nothing. You don't even have to talk to me. Get lost. I have nowhere else to go. Yeah. It's not my problem anymore. You're a spoiled brat. And if you don't want a knuckle sandwich, I suggest you start leaving. Fine, whatever. This sucks. What if I made a mistake? Well, Dad, we finally got ourselves a new mansion, and it's pretty nice. Yeah, I had to kick out one of those YouTuber influencers or whatever. But this place has three pools. Figured it'd be worth it. Dad, are you okay? You seem off. Just been doing a lot of thinking, Teddy. You know, about your brother. What if I was too harsh on him, you know? Dad, you weren't harsh on him at all. He deserved 100% of what he got. He made the right decision. I just don't know. I mean, he is your brother after all. Yeah, I know. I care about him a lot, but he needs to learn his lesson. Oh, that must be one of the new butlers. Doors open. Come on in. Edgar? Edgar? What are you doing here? Well, I came to just apologize to you guys. Really? Do you even know what apologizing means? Yeah, I'm sorry to both of you guys. I've been super irresponsible, and my spending habits were, like, out of control. Completely out of control! I know, I know! And I realized that money's not everything, okay? It took you this long to realize that? And I didn't have anything. I realized the two things I wanted the most were you guys. I'm really, really sorry. And I just want you to forgive me, that's all. Edgar, look, I forgive you. Man, I can't believe my parents make me live here. This house is a dump. It's so gross. I mean, don't they know who I am? I'm like the coolest person in the whole school. And they gotta buy me whatever I want. I mean, they do anyway, I guess. But like, they need to buy me more stuff. This stuff is gross and stupid. Oh my gosh, I'm so frustrated. Gary, honey, it's time for dinner. Yeah, well, your dinner's not good, okay? I want to go to the store and buy some clothes. Well, of course we can go to the store, Gary. But after you eat, you're a growing boy. You need your dinner. I'm not a little kid, okay? Stop talking to me like that. I don't want to do that. I want to go to the store, and I want you to buy me clothes. Okay, fine. We can go to the store and buy you some clothes. But when we come back, you need to eat your dinner, I promise? Yeah, fine, as long as it's not disgusting. I want more clothes! Well, Gary, don't you think this is enough for now? I mean, you've got a bunch of new things. No, it's not enough! It's not enough! My gosh, you're rich! You should buy me everything! Oh, come on, Gary. You know I'd try to buy you everything. But the mall, it's closing soon, so we don't have much time, okay? This'll have to do for now. No, it's not enough! It's not enough! How's everybody gonna think I'm cool? You don't get it! You don't get it at all! Uh, excuse me, babe? Yes? Uh, your card was declined. That means you don't have enough money to pay for the stuff you didn't put all back. Wait, what? No, uh, that can't be. Run it again. Uh, I did like five times. Uh, you don't have enough money in your account. Bob, how is this even possible? I can't believe you! Uh, I don't know. Someone must have stolen my identity. Yeah, that's it. So I have to leave without any of the stuff? Yep, yes, you do. Ugh, let's get out of here, Mom! You're embarrassing! So what seems to be the problem again, ma'am? For the last time, I tried to buy my son some clothes and my cards declined? I, I don't quite understand. Well, it's pretty simple, lady. You don't have any money in your bank account. It says you actually owe us 10 Robux. What? No, that can't be. Yeah, you also haven't paid any bills in months. This is not very good. You owe us a lot of money here. What do you mean? We don't have any money, Mom? Well, that's what I'm telling you, kid. No, no, this must be a mistake. I don't really understand how there can be a mistake. I mean, it doesn't look like you've spent your money on much, just you don't have any. 
Oh my gosh, how could this be? How am I supposed to get my stuff now, Mom? Gary, that's not the problem right now. Uh, sir, can you please check any other accounts? I mean, there has to be money. I know we have some. You got a little in here for a college fund. Do you want to use that money to pay off the bills and make your account positive again? Yes, uh, that'll do. You can use that money. I can't believe this! You guys are the worst! I don't know what to tell you, honey. We're broke! Ah, uh, man. We should have told Gary from the start. We can't keep pretending like we're not poor. I know, but the less he knows, the better. And I want to give him the best life. So I thought telling him we were rich wouldn't be that bad. Yeah, but he's so spoiled. He's a terrible person. I mean, I don't think it's helping him at all. We should just tell him the truth. No, no, we can't tell him the truth right now. We need to keep it a secret until we find a way to get some more money. I don't know how we keep pulling it off, to be honest with you. We're so poor, it's not even funny. I don't even know how the lights are still on in this place. I don't know either, but I have to admit something. What's that? Well, at the bank, I had to use some of Gary's college fund to pay for the bills. So, we don't have much time, but at least there's a little cushion. Well, look, it's not like there was a lot of money in there anyway. I don't think he's really going to miss a couple hundred dollars. That's right. And the most important thing right now is to make sure that Gary is happy. So, who cares about the money? No more lies, okay? We're going to find a way to tell Gary. Man, I can't believe this. I didn't get any new clothes or anything. Everyone's gonna think I'm so lame. Haha, <laughs> look at Gary! Look at your stupid clothes, man! <sighs> Leave me alone, Jesse, okay? My dumb parents didn't have any money to pay for them. What? What are you talking about? I thought you were rich. Uh, yeah, my parents are rich. Uh, just their money was tied up in, like, other stuff, you know? Like, stocks and houses and, like, rich people's stuff. My parents gave me my own credit card. I can buy whatever I want. It's awesome. Maybe your parents should do that. Yeah, actually, I never thought about that. That would be sweet. Then I could get all the clothes in the world that I want. Better than your clothes. No one's ever going to have better clothes than me. Oh, we'll see about that, man. I'm going to get the craziest credit card anyone's ever seen. I'm going to have all the stuff in the world. Okay, weirdo, whatever. Until then, you got to wear these clothes. <laughs> yeah, you'll see, bro. You'll see. I'm gonna have the coolest stuff ever. Hey, Ma, is Dad home? No, he's out right now. What can I help you with? Well, I decided that I should have my own credit card. That way, when you're too poor to pay for stuff, I can just pay for it on my own. <laughs> oh, Gary, no, honey. You can't have your own credit card. And especially not right now. Things are a little tough. Yeah, well, I mean, come on. Jesse has one. And, it, yeah, it's been tough for me, too. I have to wear these old stupid clothes that everyone hates. And I don't even get any new cool stuff like the PS5 or, like, Robux or anything. Well, I'm sorry, Gary, but we just can't afford that right now, okay? We're doing the best we can. All right, look, you probably shouldn't lie to him anymore. Oh, what are you doing here? You're the guy from the bank. Yeah, that's right. I'm here to collect this house and everything in it. What are you talking about? Your family could barely cover any of the bills. They haven't been paying anything for months. You guys are broke, and unfortunately, we have to take this home from you. No, no, please, sir. Can't we just have a little bit more time? We've given you all the time in the world. There's nothing we can do about it. You can't make enough money to afford this place. Or any place at that matter. I can't believe this. I'm gonna be homeless? No! This is so... No, this can't be happening! Well, I'm sorry, but this house now belongs to the bank. And you guys are trespassing. Well, this is gonna be our new home for a while. I can't believe this. You lied to me my whole life. You told me that I was rich and I could get whatever I wanted all the time. Yeah, well, it's not really my idea. But unfortunately, we just wanted to make sure that you had a good life. Yeah, well, now you ruined it. I think we ruined it by lying to you. Yeah, Gary, there's no more lying from here on out. It's not good. And who cares if you have money or not? What matters is we have a family. What matters is now I can't get anything that I want. You guys took it all away! No, Gary. 
We didn't, okay? We're doing you a favor. You know, just buying stuff doesn't make you happy. Having stupid things like new clothes and, and watches and all that stuff, none of it matters. What matters is how much you care about the people around you. Well, it's obvious that you guys don't care about me. I gotta get out of here. I can't believe this conversation. Man, I can't believe this. We're living in the worst house in Brookhaven. Everyone's gonna make so much fun of me. Hey, how'd that credit card work out? I see you don't have any new clothes. Look, man, my parents are broke, okay? <laughs> what? What are you talking about? I'm telling you, they lied to me all this time. They never had money. They've been poor the whole time. Wow, what a loser. I can't believe it. I can't believe that you're poor. Oh, look, it's not my fault, okay? It's my parents' fault. They lied to me. Yeah, this makes a lot of sense, though, because I never really liked you anyway. What do you mean? I don't know. I just thought you were rich and you had money, but now that you don't, I mean, you're kind of a loser. No, that's not true. I'm not a loser. I, I mean, I'm a person too, man. Yeah, a person with no money, loser. <laughs> How could he treat me like that? I thought that we were supposed to be friends. Maybe my dad was right. Maybe having money and stuff doesn't matter. I mean, who cares if you're rich and you have all this stuff if you have to hang around with horrible people like that? Guys, I gotta talk to you. Yeah, what is it now, Gary? Look, I'm sorry, okay? I thought about what you said, Dad, and I think that you're right. What do you mean I'm right? I mean, what's the point of having money if all the people around you don't care about you? Oh, Gary, I'm so proud of you. It's true. There is no point. Money can't buy you happiness. Yeah, I know, and I just feel terrible about all the stuff I bought with the money that you guys didn't have. I know that you were trying, and you just wanted to do the best for me. Yeah, I know. It was stupid on our part, too. But look, Gary, things are going to get better, okay? The one thing I do know is that as long as you work hard and you're good to people, something will work out. I promise. Yeah, and I want to start learning some of that responsibility because, like, yeah, it's cool to have money, but I also want to learn how to be a better person. Well, maybe you should try and get a job. You'll learn plenty of responsibility that way. Oh, I will. Thank you guys so much for caring about me. I mean, I didn't realize it until now. Of course, that's what we're here for. We're your parents. I can't believe it. Things are so much better now since your dad got a new job. I know, this is awesome, and I've been working too, and I'm glad that I've been able to pitch in and help around the house. I know, I'm so grateful for you, Gary. You've really learned a lot. Yeah, well, it's crazy. Once I started working, I met like a bunch of new friends that actually like me for who I am. And those are the perfect type of people to be around, Gary. You don't need people to make you feel bad. You want friends that lift you up and love you for you, not for what you have in your wallet. Yeah, exactly, and that's what I'm learning now. And instead of spending my money on stupid stuff, I'm going to save it and I'm going to invest it because I do want to make money someday, but I also want to make sure that I can give back. Yes, giving back is so important, Gary. Oh, I could not be more proud of you. What a great boy you've turned into. Ugh, Max, you're so dumb. I hate you. Why the heck did you throw me out a window? Because I have the stupidest brother in the whole world. I didn't want a brother. I can't do anything about that. My family adopted you. And I never wanted to be adopted. What is happening out here? What? Who broke the window? It was Max. Look, he threw a baseball through it, Dad. What? No, I didn't. Max, how many times must I tell you? Ugh, clean this mess up immediately. Oh, this place is awesome. Now, I brought you boys here because I want you two to get along and spend some quality time together. Yeah, of course, Dad. Here's 20 bucks a piece. Think that should be enough. But go hang out. Have fun. I think this is a great idea. Thanks, Dad. Uh, 20 bucks. Sweet. So what do you think? Should we play some games? Yeah, fine. Whatever. And... Yes! Yes, I won! Look at all these tickets! That's really cool. But come over here. There's something I want to show you. Uh, okay. Let me see that 20 bucks Dad gave you. Why? I just want to see if yours looks exactly like mine. You know, they all have different years on it. Uh, okay. Here you go. <laughs> you are such an idiot. What? What are you talking about? Ah! <laughs> have fun swimming home. Uh, Nick! 
What are you doing home so early? And where's Nick? And you're soaking wet. I don't care where Nick is. Whoa, hey, hey, what's with the attitude, huh? I'm so sick of him. I want nothing to do with him anymore. He pushed me off a pier. He stole my money. I'm just so tired of him. Look, Nick needed a good home, okay? Just be patient with him. Dad, you don't understand. Max! <sighs> I'll go talk to him. Sweetheart, you need to stop with this attitude right now. I am so mad that you left your brother at the pier. Mom, he pushed me into the water off of the pier. He doesn't want to be my brother. Now, where is that stupid... Oh, Mom! Nick, there you are. Are you okay? No. Max just left me at the pier. He took my money and just ran off. Oh my gosh, Nick. I am so sorry that happened. Max, how could you? So what you told me was a lie, wasn't it? No, it's not. Are you joking? Max, the next time you act like a jerk, you're going to be grounded. Do you understand me? But mom... No arguing. That is final. Nick, I can't believe you. Well, your mom and dad certainly believe me. You're lying to them. And I have them wrapped around my finger. They're going to do whatever I want. And there's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> Huh? What's that noise? Is there something downstairs? I better go check it out. Just in case, I'll take this. Who's there? <laughs> Just leave me alone. Nick, are you okay? Why do you care, huh? <laughs> Listen, I don't know why you're crying right now, but I want to be here for you. I want to help you. Just got to give me a chance to do it. How many times do I have to tell you I don't want anything to do with you? You don't understand anything about me or what I'm going through. Well, I can if you let me try. Just talk to me. Do you have any idea how hard it is just to be me? My family gave up on me. Just gave me away and put me up for adoption. I was just a baby. Why didn't they want me? I don't know. But listen, if you stop being so mean to me, I'd love to have you around so much more. I want my own family. I want yours. We can be your family too. You just gotta let us. Hey, what's going on down here? It's late. Yeah, Dad. Max came down and just started chasing me and he was hitting me with the bat. He did what? No, I didn't. Give me that bat. Go up to your room and go to bed. It's past midnight. Man, this lunch stinks. Oh, come on. It's not that bad. Yeah, I guess you're right. It's not as bad as, let's say, your brother. And I'm so sorry he's doing all that stuff to you. Yeah, he's kind of over the top. He just loves getting me in trouble. And I'm sorry he's your brother now. Well, it gets even worse. I didn't tell you what happened last night. You'll never guess what he said to me. What was it? He was just crying and saying uh, how he wanted his own family. He was really crying? Yeah, like a lot. Hey, shut up, okay? Don't ever talk about me ever again. Whoa. Whoa, were you listening to me? Yeah, talking trash about me the whole time? You two are a bunch of losers. Actually, you're the one that's a loser. What did you just say to me? You're doing nothing but pick on Max. You're not gonna get away with it. Picking on someone makes you look like the idiot. Max, I never want to hear you mention my name ever again, or I'll make your mom and dad so mad at you that they kick you out. All right, this is the orphanage I grew up in. Uh, hello? You. Didn't you get adopted? What are you doing back here? I just wanted to come talk to you. I have a couple questions. I don't have time to answer questions. You know how busy running an orphanage is? Yeah, I remember, but please, I really could use your help. I want to find my real family. Can you tell me anything about them? Find your real family? No way! You have a family now. What's the big deal? I want to know the truth. I want to know why I was abandoned in the first place. Well, you probably abandoned because your family didn't want you. Duh. Probably didn't love you. <laughs> what? <laughs> no. That can't be it. I was just a baby. All right, all right. Enough with the tears. Now get lost, kid. So you're really not going to help me? I said no! <laughs> <laughs> huh. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm getting better at this. Huh. Hey, what the heck, Nick? Why would you do that? I saw you having fun, and I figured you'd come out and ruin it. Well, just leave me alone. I don't want you around if you're going to be mean to me. Nick, you may be mean to me. You are such a baby. I can't believe we're even the same age. Why are you such a jerk, Nick? I just want you to be a part of the family. I told you before, I don't want anything to do with your family, especially you. Well, that's not true. You're super nice to my mom and dad, but then you always treat me like I'm garbage. That's because you are garbage, and you'll never be anything more than that. You think words are gonna hurt me? Yeah, I do. I can see it in your face. You're about to cry because you realize how pathetic you truly are. Ugh, you're so, so dumb. Have fun trying to find your stupid soccer ball. Hey, Mom, do you think I could have some money to go buy some snacks? Yes, of course. I think $20 should be enough for that. Yeah, this is perfect. Thanks. <sighs> Max, what is it? 
I can tell you're upset. Yeah, Mom, I am upset. Well, do you want to talk about it? I don't know if you're gonna understand, Mom, but I'm really struggling trying to get along with Nick. No, I can tell. You two are fighting a lot. According to Nick, you've been doing some awful things, Max. Well, he's lying about all that stuff. I know you. This doesn't sound like you. I just want to get along with Nick so bad. Brothers shouldn't be fighting like this. <sighs> I know. Ever since you were little, you wanted a brother. Well, I do want a brother, but he just makes it so impossible. Not even my friends like him. Well, don't you guys have that school field trip coming up? You guys should hang out then. Maybe that's a good idea. I'm sure everything will work itself out. Trust me. I heard this thing used to be able to run as fast as like 50 miles per hour. What? No way. Look at its legs. There's no way it could do that. That's what they say, man. Oh, dinosaurs are so cool. Yeah, they're super awesome. Well, figures you two would just be nerding out over some dinosaurs. Ugh, typical. Alan, just ignore him. What did you just say? I said to ignore you because you're being a jerk. Oh, sorry. I just can't help myself. Look at you. All you do is hang out with this dumb nerd. You literally don't have any friends. Hey, don't talk to Alan like that. Yeah, you don't know me at all. Trust me, I know you well enough. Now, if you hang out with Max, you're just as pathetic as him. <sighs> That's it. I've had enough. You're a jerk, and you're nothing but a jerk, so just go away. Ah! Oh, 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 oh my gosh. Look at his face, Max. Ugh. You're gonna pay for this. I'm gonna tell your mom and dad everything that happened here. What, that you picked on us? You'll see. <laughs> you're gonna pay for this. All Nick wanted to do was hang out with you at the field trip, so you and your friend pushed him into the dinosaur exhibit that's not true at all, Dad. I can't believe you always take Nick's side without ever hearing me out or believing me to begin with. Because I'm giving Nick a chance. Clearly, you're not. <sighs> Whatever, I'm out of here. Good, take your bad attitude out of this house. Cool off. Oh, ho, ho. looks like he's pretty mad at you. Doesn't even want to look at you. I've had enough of you. Well, I'm just getting started. I tried to be there for you. I tried to listen to you, and I tried to be your brother. But you're making it impossible. Because it is impossible. I don't want you in my life. Can't you get that through your thick, dumb head? Well, guess what? You don't have a choice, and I don't have a choice. We just have to put up with each other. Fine, then. Whatever. Just make sure you get out of my way. Don't talk to me. Well, don't worry about it. I'm gonna go stay at Alan's house this weekend, because at least there, I have a friend, unlike you. Hey, you're the new kid, right? Uh, yeah, and what about it? Well, my name's Max. I'm here to give you a tour of the school. Max, huh? That's a stupid name. My name's Glenn, and I want nothing to do with this place. Or you, you dummy. Whoa. Hey, I'm just doing this because Mr. Green told me to help you out, okay? I don't need help from a loser like you. Yeah, he is an absolute loser. You want nothing to do with him. He's stupid. Hey, I like your attitude. We should ditch this loser and hang out. If you think Max is as dumb as I do, you can't be half bad either. Yeah, come on. I'll be the one to show you around the school. Don't listen to anything Max says. What could they be talking about now? Don't worry, man. I'm a professional. I used to do this all the time at my old school. Yeah, uh, fine. Skipping school tomorrow and going to the skate park sounds like a much better idea. Yeah, cool. So I'll see you tomorrow, dude. Yeah, I'll see you later, man. What are you looking at? Nick, I don't like this guy. He seems like trouble. What do you mean? Glenn is awesome. I mean, I overheard you guys are going to skip school? That sounds like a horrible idea. I don't care what you think. My friend is way cooler than your dumb friend. You're probably just jealous. That's what it is. I'm not jealous. I'm just warning you. I heard you got kicked out of his old school. I don't care. Glenn and I understand each other, okay? Not like you even know about that. Ugh, whatever. Let's just get on the bus. I'm getting on the bus. Ugh. You're not. Have fun walking home, idiot. Ugh, come on. All right, Nick and Max. Y'all have a great day at school. Thanks, Mom. See you when I get home. Yo, dude, are you ready? Yeah, let's do this. This. Oh, there he goes. I can't let him get away with this. I'm gonna follow them. So they're ditching school just to hang out at a coffee shop? Nick, what do you think you're doing? Whoa, it's that idiot. He's stalking us. Max, what are you doing? We don't want to hang out with you. Well, I'm here to tell you guys gotta go back to school. You're gonna get in so much trouble. We're not going back to school. We're gonna go to the skate park after this. School's for losers like you. You should go back there instead. Ah, uh, thank goodness for my lunch break. I need a coffee. All these kids have me so exhausted. Wait a minute second. Max, Nick, new kid, what are you doing outside of class? Uh, Mr. Green, I can explain. Skipping class is unacceptable. I'm gonna tell the principal about this for sure. No, please, trust me, I was just trying to get these two to come back to school. Well, you're all going back to school because
because you're all in serious trouble. Dad, I want to explain. Well, I don't want to hear it. Shut up and the two of you get in the car right now. Never in a million years did I think my son would skip school. And you, Nick, what is wrong with you doing as well? Well, it's all Max's fault. He's jealous I finally had a friend. And he's the one that caught me in trouble. Dad, that's not true. I was the one that caught them skipping school. I was trying to get them to come back. No, he's not. He's the one that told us to do it in the first place. He said we wouldn't get in trouble at all. He lied. Seems like that's all he seems to be doing nowadays. <sighs> Max, you are grounded for an entire month. What? Are you joking? Do I look like I'm joking? Dad, I'm your son. You know me. I wouldn't do this. I thought I knew you, but now you're just disappointed. Go to your room and don't come out until we call you for dinner. Ugh, I can't believe this. I'm so sorry he got you in trouble, Nick. <sighs> it's okay. But you made a new friend at school? Yeah, I did. His name is Glenn. He's really cool. I'm really glad that you're finally making new friends. You should have him over sometime. Yeah, maybe I will. Yeah, dude, we should totally hang out this weekend and go throw rocks off of a bridge or something. I wish I could, but I can't. What? What do you mean you can't? My adopted dad wants to take me on some dumb bonding trip or something with me and my stupid brother. <laughs> that sounds so lame, dude. I know. He said he wants to do some fishing or something. I don't know. But you should come over sometime, though. My parents said they want to meet you. Uh, I'm not too sure about that. Your brother's kind of a loser. Yeah, I know he is, but we can just ignore him. How can you ignore trash, man? It always smells. Can't believe he lives with you. I just feel so bad for you, you know? <sighs> Don't feel bad for me. I mean, he's stupid, but... <sighs> Whatever. Hey, Nick, check this out. See that bag of chips over there? Yeah, what about it? I'm gonna go take it. Dude, you're gonna steal? Why don't you just buy it? Wow, you sound just as lame as your brother. But, I mean, if you do it, you might get caught. Dude, stealing's wrong. I thought I'd give you a chance, but you're such a loser after all. That's crazy. No, 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 I'm not a loser. Do whatever you want, all right? I'm gonna go outside. Fine, whatever. What if maybe Max is right? Glenn is stealing. That's not good. Maybe he's not my friend after all. I can't believe you've actually caught more fish than me. <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised I'm actually enjoying myself. It's really, really pretty out here and peaceful. Well, I'm happy. I know things at home haven't really been easy for you, Nick. No, they haven't. You want to talk about it? You know, you can always tell me anything. I know I'm not your real dad, but I'm still here for you. I just feel so upset all the time. I constantly think about my real family and why they never wanted me. You know, Oh, I actually was adopted too. Never met my real family. Wait, really? I had no idea. So if anybody understands what you're going through, it's gonna be me. I know how hard it is to fit in with a new family. It's scary, difficult, but I want you to know that I think of you as my own son. You are a part of my family now. You really mean that? I mean, after everything, me and Max constantly fighting all the time, you seem to get really upset. I'm just getting upset because I want the two of you to get along. I know how important family is. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Well, thank you, Dad. Of course, son. By the way, hold on a second. I think you got a bite. Wow. Look, Nick finally looks happy. Maybe things will get better after all. Hey, man, what's up? Dude, it's been forever. I'm so happy you're not grounded anymore. Yeah, me too. Now we can finally go do stuff. Oh, man. Oh, is that Nick over there? Yeah, maybe we should leave. I don't want to be anywhere around him. No, it's okay. We shouldn't let what Nick does rule our lives. Plus, I think he's turning around. Really? I doubt that. No, wait. See, I'll show you. Hey, Nick. Yeah, what is it? Hey, I want to know if you wanted to hang out with us. Loser one and loser two? Yeah, I don't think so. Ah! Ow! 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 Nick, what the heck are you doing? What's going on over here? Uh, sir. Ow. Man, he just picked up my coffee and threw it at me. What? No, I didn't. That's it. You're banned from this coffee shop forever. Nick, what have you done? All right, where is he? I need to talk to him. Nick, there you are. Wow, you really won't stop following me, won't you? Ugh, what a stalker. Nick, can I speak to you in private? Can't you see him hanging out with my friend? Honestly, whatever. I don't want to be near him anyway. Look at this. You're scaring away my friend. I can't believe you. I'm actually kind of impressed you're breaking your dad's rules. Aren't you supposed to be grounded? Nick, I've had enough of you. And I've had enough of you bothering me. Following me everywhere. I was hanging out with my best friend and you just ruined it. See, this is what I'm talking about. Your attitude is insane. I'm just trying to be a friend to you. And a brother. It's all I've ever wanted. Well, I think you're 
you're a liar. You don't want that at all. You just want to make my life miserable. That's why I hate you so much. That's not true. You don't know what you're talking about. And neither do you. You don't know what it's like. You're so lucky to have grown up with family around you. Imagine having nothing. I grew up with nothing. Look, I may not understand what you're going through, but you can't take it out on me. I wouldn't take it out on you if you just left me alone. All right, boys. Your father and I are going to be going to his work party for a little bit. We'll be back shortly, I promise. Are you boys going to be all right alone for a few hours? Yeah, we'll be fine. Okay, there's a lot of food in the fridge, and you guys can call me if you need anything, and absolutely no parties. <sighs> you got it. All right, we love you guys. Have so much fun. Have a good night, boys. Yo, Nick, what's up, dude? Hey, thanks for finally coming over, man. My parents said no parties, but I figured you could come over and hang out. Yo, this place is pretty nice. I didn't know your family was rich. Well, they're not, like, rich, but I guess they're doing okay. I don't know. No, this place is great, dude. Give me the tour. Hey, wait a second. Uh, this is my parents' room. I don't think we should be in here. Hey, check out this watch. This thing's super expensive. Yeah, that's my dad's Rolex. Just put it down, okay? He really likes that watch a lot. No, I think you should let me take it. What? No, that's my dad's. So what? I want it. Yeah, but you can't just have it. Why do you even care? These people aren't even your real family. Yeah, I, I guess you're right, but they're really nice. Especially my dad. I don't want to upset him. Shut up. You're such a loser. I'm taking this watch and that's that. Max, Nick, get down here right now. What's wrong, dad? Yeah, is everything okay? My father's Rolex is missing. Where is it? It's gone? Uh, that was your dad's Rolex? Oh, uh, I saw Max wearing it the other night. He has it. Wait, what? No, I wasn't. Max, I know how you've been acting out lately, but enough is enough. Now, now give me that watch back. I don't have it. I never took it to begin with. Do you have any idea how important that watch is to me? Of course I do. You always told me not to play with it. Because that is the last thing I have left of my real father. And now it's gone? Well, I don't have it. You should ask Nick instead. I want you to stop blaming Nick for your problems. You're acting out and it's unacceptable. Dad, you're going to find out the truth eventually. It wasn't me. It, he's blaming me for this. He blames me for everything. No, I don't. You blame me for everything. All right, enough. This is giving me a headache. I need to go outside for a walk. Cool off. And when I get back, my watch better be in my room. Nick, we gotta talk. About what? About my dad's Rolex. What happened? I don't know what you're talking about. Well, you blame me for taking it, and you know that I didn't, but tell me, where is it? Uh, Glenn. Glenn took it. You mean your friend took it? Yeah, he came over the other night when mom and dad were gone, and he took it. Are you kidding? So you blamed me instead of just telling the truth that was your friend that took it? I, I panicked, okay? I, I didn't know what to do. I know what he did was wrong, and I tried to tell him to stop, but I didn't want to get my friend in trouble. Nick, I just can't believe you anymore. I just had enough. All I've ever done is try to be nice to you. And you just you just keep turning your back on me every time. You literally threw me under the bus. And now my dad won't even talk to me. Look, I'm sorry, okay? But I... No, that watch meant so much to my dad. And if my dad means anything to you, you're going to find a way to get it back. I'll try, but I don't want to lose my friend either. He's the only friend I have. He's not your friend. The sooner you realize that, the better. Uh, dude, don't look at my painting, okay? I'm terrible at art. What? No, that's not why I came over here. I want to talk to you. Are you all right, man? You look really sad. Well, I know this is sudden, but can I stay at your place for the weekend? Uh, yeah, of course, but why? My dad is super mad at me. Nick got me in trouble again. Ugh, again? I'm so sick of Nick. Yeah, me too. Honestly, and I can see how much he upsets you. You need to stop trying to be his brother. You've tried so hard, and Nick just keeps putting you down constantly. Yeah, I think you're right. If you and Nick are ever going to get along, Nick's going to have to change his attitude, and it doesn't seem like he's gonna change anytime soon. No, you're completely right, but I just don't know what to do. My dad's watch is still gone, and I don't know how to get it back. Well, you know where it is, don't you? Yeah, I do. Nick said Glenn took it. Well, then I think you should go get it back. You know what? Alan's right. I am gonna get that watch back. Hey, Glenn, I want my dad's watch back. Hand it over. What are you talking about? I don't have any watch. Don't play dumb with me. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Now hand it over. Whoa, Nick, are you gonna let this loser talk to me like that? 
that? Hey, Max, cut it out, okay? Glenn is my friend. You can't just come up here and start yelling at him. What are you talking about? He's the one that took the watch. You're the one that told me. You told him I took it? You loser. Sorry, man. He was just being so annoying. He wouldn't leave me alone about it. Whatever. I'm not gonna give it back. Well, maybe you should. Like, let's just put this all behind us, okay? Glenn, just give me the watch. No way. Man, you're so dumb, just like your brother. You're gonna give me that watch back right now, Glenn. Oh, yeah? And who's gonna make me? Seriously, Nick? You're not even gonna defend me? I'm your brother, and you're not gonna say anything either? You're so unbelievable. Wait, Max, hold on a second. No, I don't wanna talk to you. There you are. I've been looking all over town for you. I don't care. You're just lying again. No, I'm not. I'm sorry. You're not sorry. You've never been sorry. And I'm sorry that my family had to adopt such a jerk. Hey, it's not my idea, okay? I didn't ask to be adopted. Your family chose me. You don't know what I'm going through at all. I've tried to learn what you're going through, but you've made it impossible. It's no wonder no one likes you. What did you just say? No wonder no one likes you. Ah, don't ever say that ever again. No way. I'm not going to let you do this to me anymore. Ah. Oh, oh, that's it. Ah. Ah. What is going on? Hey, 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 break it up, boys. Break it up. Dad, I've been trying to talk to Max, but he's the one that started it. No, I'm not. You're the one that pushed me first. I think I have had absolutely enough of this. I need to set you two straight. The three of us are going away this weekend, and I'm going to make sure you finally get along. All right, boys, we finally made it. Really? We have to stay here all weekend? Ugh, not the woods again, Dad. Ah, uh, come on, Max. We used to have fun here. And Nick, I know you'll love it, too. Max, you remember this place. Yeah, of course I do. What's so special about this campsite? Well, apparently my father used to come here and camp. So I like to come here and feel connected to him since I didn't really get to know him. Dad, it's really nice of you to bring us here, but... It would be a whole lot nicer if I had my dad's watch, but I don't. And since you stole it, this is all I have left. I'm gonna go set up camp. You two don't wander far and don't fight. Look, Max, I'm sorry, okay? Let me apologize to you. Wow, shocked you even care at all. Look, I feel bad, okay? Now see how upset dad really is. Maybe I can get the watch back. I don't believe you. It's exactly what you wanted. Now my dad hates me and he loves you. That's not what I wanted at all. Yeah, sure. We said it before. Don't talk to me. I don't want anything to do with you. Wait, Max, no. <sighs> Nick really messed things up again, didn't you? Now he's so mad at you. But if I tell dad the truth, he'll probably get mad at me too. Gotta get that watch back. Gotta make all this right. There he is. Hey, Glenn. Yo, it's the loser Nick. What's up? I see you wearing my dad's watch. I want it back right now. Ha, <laughs> no way. This is mine. No, it's not. It doesn't belong to you. And honestly, Glenn, the fact that you're acting like this makes me think I don't want to be friends with you anymore. Ha, <laughs> you thought we were friends? I was never your friend in the first place. You were pathetic loser. What? Really? Is that really how you feel? Uh, yeah. You would do whatever I said without even asking any questions. You're so pathetic and lonely. It's so sad. I'm not pathetic and lonely. You are. You're the one that's sad. Picking on people and stealing? Just like a common criminal? Oh, yeah? And what about you? Picking on your own brother. You're right. I can't change it. I did used to pick on my brother, but I'm not that person anymore. Yeah, that's what they all say. You're always gonna be a horrible person that no one ever wanted. Ugh! Don't you ever talk to me like that again. Give me back the watch. I'm going back to the people that actually care about me. My family. I hope I never see you again. Nick, there you are. Where'd you run off to? Uh, I had to go get this. What? It's my dad's watch. I can't believe it. Max was right. You had it the whole time? No. Look, my friend Glenn stole it, okay? And I blamed Max for it. And I'm really, really sorry. I'm sorry. I can't believe I trusted you. Stealing from me. How could you betray me like this after everything I've done? Welcoming you into my home. Bringing you in as a part of the family. I changed my mind, okay? I know I was acting like a jerk and I don't want to act like that. So what else was a lie, huh? Everything else. So you're the one that threw him out the window. Got him in trouble for skipping school. Pushed him off the pier. It was me. I don't think I could trust you anymore after this. Hey, Dad, just lighten up. I think he means it. No, it's fine. He, I knew he was going to be upset. And I knew because you guys didn't want me anyways. And you want me to leave. Look, so I'll get out of your way, okay? I'm just going to run away and I'll never come back. You don't have to worry about me ever again. Wait, Nick, come back. Hey. <sighs> Nick, please just stop. No, stop following me, okay? I'm not going to stop following you. Uh, fine, then I'll stop. 
So what do you want, huh? Can you rub it in my face how big of a failure I am? How I'm a criminal and I'm a thief? No, I just want you to understand. Understand what? I totally get it. You said you want nothing to do with me. And now your dad's basically said it too. No one wants anything to do with me. Listen, Nick, that's not true. It is true. It's been true ever since I was born. Nick, just calm down, okay? Everything's gonna... Ah! Max? Max! Oh no, I'm coming, buddy. Don't worry. <laughs> Don't worry, Max. I got you. Come on. Uh, oh, are you okay? <coughs> yeah. Jeez, Nick. Thanks for saving me. Why did you do that? I, uh, I don't know. It was just instinct. I just felt like I had to save you. I mean, you're my brother after all.